the seventh ranked Clemson Tigers come into the Seminole Soccer Complex to take on the third ranked Florida State Seminoles. Just one loss between the two. And for Clemson, they're coming off a big win against Notre Dame. This one came down right to the wire. It was in overtime. It was finally sealed by Claire Wagner, putting this one in the back of the net. The first one of the game, 1-0, they win. Under 40 minutes of regulation left. Both teams went to overtime their last game to open up ACC play. Florida State against Duke pulled the draw. Clemson picks up the win in the 102nd minute of that one. As Wagner put it in the back of the net to give them their first ACC win on the season. Here it is, game two of the ACC slate. And it's been tight. And I think looking early on in this second half, when this cross comes in claimed by Sheridan, is uh, the way FSU set up their, their attacking midfielders, and right now that's Tillman and, uh, and Connolly, they seem to find spaces on that field a little bit better than, than some of the other players that, that have played in that position. And it, it keeps that... Uh, relationship with with Shayna Williams um, a little bit stronger so that they're getting on the ball immediately when they're facing the the opposition goal they're looking to try and find Shayna Williams and, and her movement off the ball like we saw with the goal is very smart and that's what FSU got to keep trying to do find those pockets of space see if they can turn slide other players in and, and support that play well, these, these two teams did not play last year you have to look back to 2013 when the two teams played whistle blown and that will be florida state ball and referee lance van Heitsma kind of spreading out teams twelve straight games for florida state on bean streak in ACC play, you got to date back 20 games against ACC teams that they've lost. But with Clemson, they haven't lost in the last 15. The last game that they played, though, was a tie. It was out at Clemson at historic Riggs Field in 2013, a 1-1 draw in Clemson. Under Redwanski, Clemson's 0-2-1 against Florida State. But Redwanski has really turned this team around, head coach for Clemson. Yeah, he's definitely organized the team. And, you know, with FSU's success in these past few years, I mean, you know, getting a couple of ties against them is probably seen as a, as a success for, for Clemson. Well, Florida State has not been lower than second in the ACC standings in nine out of the last ten years. So very hard for any ACC team to move their way up yeah. as this is a nice ball. Coy Visto will cross it and head it out by Clemson. Jensen to Connolly. Connolly loses it and it's kicked out once again. Crowley will try again for Williams and head it out by Wagner. There is Williams. She's got it now. Oh, good ball. Finding, trying to find Quika. Set it back for Pickett. Oh, she's turned. Nice up. move by Quika. Stonda and Clemson now on the offensive. Far post, but here is Tillman. Hahn oh. with a hard shot oh. off the crossbar. Connolly. Oh. And Sheridan is right there. Two great strikes. Watching this replay here, we've got a lot to talk about here, Jonathan. Michaela Hahn strikes this ball so well. Just Ooh. missed it too. Crashes the crossbar. And a good technique from Connolly as well with the volley. So two, two good examples of how to strike the ball. Two very different examples. But uh, Michaela Hahn's strike there was, was thunderous. And now Miller's got it on the other end. We've played 20 here in the second half. Yeah, the uh, FSU is definitely looking at that, that stronger team here in the second half. Trying to get on the ball a little bit more. 
That could have been quite easily been 3-1. That crossbar is three inches higher. <laughs> That's a goal. Fortunately, you can't long. you can't move the crossbars though in this game. Cannot. That's that's one of those fixed things that that you can't do. Just looking for Westlake there and Florida State able to get it into their possession. This is this cross is midfield. Jensen with it. Right flank, trying to find Williams. That one stopped by, by Orth. The Twins play on either side of the field. Emily on the left side, Gabby on the right side. They wear consecutive numbers as well, 27 and 28. <clears throat> Look at this strike here. I think we're going to go back to this replay with Michaela Hahn with the pink boots, left foot over the ball. Tell you one thing about I've noticed about Michaela Hahn these past couple of years is, is her ability to use her left and right foot. You know, she is so natural with striking a ball and switching the play with, with, with both feet. And it's, uh, you don't see that with Megan Campbell's throw. Here we go. And headed out by. It's going to be another Clemson. corner. Yep. So Florida State will now take their seventh corner of the game. And watching so many of these corners that are coming in the past here, it's only going to be a matter of time before FSU actually get on, on the end of one of these. Did you see uh, Shana Williams and Sheridan having a little scrap there? There's Tillman. Deja vu. Yeah, I was just about to say. Tries to get it in. There's Conley. Oh, it's a penalty. And yep. she will be kicking it from the box. Definite penalty. Good decision by the referee. Watching this replay, the, the penalty is drawn from, from uh, Connolly's first touch here. She puts on her right left foot, and then the defender there is always going to be reaching. Sprouse has gone in to try and win the ball. But uh, Connolly's first touch was so good because uh, her second touch was going to be a shot on goal with her left foot. They give it to Connolly here to take, standing 12 yards away from Sheridan. And this is tough to stop. Big moment of the game, this is. Connolly with three goals on the season. Looking for her fourth, and this would put up Florida State by two. Goes left and knocks it in for Florida State, and they go up. Three to one now, and that is huge with just 22 minutes and change to play. 